Oh, Jake, I've just got all that in my train. And there we go, always the red Fanta. Well, here we are on the way to Nakon Tom on the west side of Bangkok, and we just come across this. Let's go and have a look. actually called the Mahadev Foundation. It's a public charity. Um, and she was a member of the Buddhist Association of Nakhon Bhattam. And the objective of this foundation is to construct the sacred Buddha statue, the Black Buddha of Nalanda, India, and the five Hindu god statues. Okay, so this is a mixture of Hindu and Buddhism again. I'm, I'm not quite sure why, but... Let's have a look at the giant bull. Wow, it's like I'm in India. I think that's a Shiva Lingam, a Shiva penis. Well, this is my son today. I like to show you the footwear. I like to show YouTube the footwear that he's come out in today, look. I think he thinks he's an essay in the hood in LA from the 1980s, but each to their own. Always loved Shiva, the whole idea of Shiva and the color, the colorful image of him and everything else. And, and Hindu, Hindu gods and mythology anyway, ever since I went to India back in the 90s. Something I love about it, so colorful and, and the smells of the incense and everything in the air as well. Anyway, that was just a quick stop. We're on the way to a place called Bang Pong today um, in Ratchaburi province. Uh, let's have a look at the street art. What a beautiful little colourful stop, eh? So we don't normally come this way, but we're going somewhere else. We're actually on our way to Hua Hin, but um, we came on a different road today. We came on an old road because we're going somewhere. We're going, we're going to a few really cool places on the way, so what a lovely colourful little stop. Oh, the mighty Ganesh. We're about an hour and a half drive west of Bangkok in a sub-district of Ratchaburi called Ban Bong. Be careful how you say that. Thai speakers will know what I mean by that. It's spelt P-O-N-G, but not necessarily pronounced like that. Anyway, a few years back, there was a two and a half month long contemporary arts project, and they've developed a little bit of this old part into, uh, well, as you can see, a lovely bit of street art. We're going to see here, as you can see, Alex's face, but I'm sure there are a lot of other things that we recognize as well. I can already see a few people. Anyway. Without further ado, let's go and have a look. Okay, so I'm gonna say it was about four years ago because this Alex face piece is 2017, look. So we're gonna have a look all around here. That's actually quite amusing because look, He's got his bathtub there, he's got his nuclear submarine, and look at my t-shirt. Oh, look at this, little alleyway, let's have a look down here.
suffer from the old black dog, then come and walk around a place like this to vibe and see the, the colours and everything. Sure, sure to cheer your soul. Taking a few pictures there, hello. <laughs> what a lovely stop off point, halfway to Whitehin. Lovely little drive as well. <laughs> but this guy, look, he's trying to catch this guy. <laughs> Let's have a look around this side, shall we? Getting all sorts of stuff dripped to my head here for your video. I'll get dripped on so you guys don't have to. Right, look, that's inviting me up there, isn't it? Look. Come on, son, it's all right. Oh. <laughs> I said, come on, son, it's all right. And I just nearly knocked myself out on a metal bar, so. Yeah, Jacob, all these pieces were done in 2017. Watch out for the live wire there, son. Okay. Oh, that one's a bit new, new look, 2020. Let me just see if I can get round here quickly. If I'm going to explore, Jake, I've got to do it properly, my son. Yeah, don't worry about that. Oh. Oh, and through. The rose that grew from the concrete, look. Oh, getting dripped on all sorts of crap. Look at this, look. Filthy. Okay. Well, 
We'll have a look around the other side and see if there's any more alleyways, but um, this is Bang Pong. Bang Pong? Bang Bong. Street up. So it's a. Oh, Jake, I've just got all that in my trainers, but it's a. Um, it's a little sub district of uh, Ratchaburi or Ratbury. Um, and if you do like a bit of street art, it's well worth a stop on the way to Hawaii. Look, see if there's any more alleyways around here or any more little pieces on this side. Oh. It's rather nice, isn't it? Okay, so, up there, look. If you've seen any of my other street art videos, you'll know that guy up there is Mubon. This was four years ago. His pieces are going for an awful lot of money now. Um, yeah, so there's Mubon on his whatever it may be. Yeah, and this is what the building looks like. Look, it used to be a market or a shop. Look. Oh, this is Jex. Okay, I've said before, but the big gold train in the Aurum Gallery in Bangkok that was done by Goldie, the famous jungle drummer bass artist and actor of James Bond fame from the UK who now lives in Phuket. He did that piece with Jex. Love that Alex face piece, no? So a quick look over here, there's a couple more little pieces. This place is actually at the side of a really really good looking old old market here in bam um you buy anything there from cloth to to all sorts really but uh we're not here to look around the markets today uh we're here to see the street art on the way to the beach what's up there jake see a dog i heard a dog don't worry about it Oh, love it. Uh, and there's Very the electric one. Very good. Very good, huh? So I'm Mac, Louis, huh? Car phone. It's Jake having a good old chinwag with the local, as he often does when I come, let's see. She's telling us all about this artwork. So to give you a brief history of this building here, yeah. from this, well, this fine lady just told me, it used to be about 10 years ago, used to be a cinema, uh -huh. right? And a uh, cinema at the top selling DVDs and CDs at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that kind of went out as bit of business as people just weren't going anymore for okay. some reason. But then it went into a car dealership. Right. But then that also went out of business. And uh, the owner of the place, what this lady said, she's been in this building for about 10 years. Okay. She just says uh, the owner's really rich. He doesn't really care about the building. So he just allowed it to go out of use and okay. her, the street art to take place here. And instead. what does she think about the street art? Does she like she it? She really likes it. She says it adds a uh, big depth to the sea of Bang Bang Paul. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And character, right? Adds character yeah. because already, already we drove for a big market, didn't we, Jake? Yeah. And it, which looked really, really cool. But to have this on the edge of it, it really does give you a reason to come and visit. It does. Right? Fantastic. Right then, let's have a quick look at these bits here. Also, I'll tell you one more thing. A piece that you're about to see there, it looks like it's uh, based on some sort of bowl of noodles. But funnily enough, there's a noodle shop right next to it. So, in my opinion, that noodle shop may have been there for quite a while and they've made street art to kind of show sure. the noodle shop. I think you're right. I think you're right, mate. You
And if you do decide to stop here in Bambon, about a hundred meters away from that graffiti spot, um, is this river, look. We've got temples on the river. Really beautiful little town, this Bambon. Be careful how you say it, like I said, don't, don't say it how it's spelt. Hello. Because otherwise it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a swear word in Thai. I won't go into that. So bang, bong, bong, something like that. In between it being a P. Anyway, let's turn that off me and show you, show you the river look, show you the riverside. As everywhere in Thailand, a lot of these old small towns have well because like everywhere in the world when you build a town hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago you normally build it very close to a water source right so here places like uh, Chantaburi, Pechaburi, Rachaburi places like that are all built on rivers traditionally get some good pictures there son yeah good um, are traditionally built on rivers and as you can see like everywhere in the country the it's pretty high at the moment but it is full moon it is high tide if you saw my video the other day uh we probably know by now whether the northern runoff has come but um hopefully it'll be okay but um this lovely little promenade here is beautiful the weather changed yesterday the breeze is back and this is a lovely little place to have a wander up and down there's a lovely chinese shrine there i'm not going to bore you bore you with that today we've been to a lot of temples and shrines lately i don't want to i don't want to keep giving you the same thing but um, yeah, so if you're on the way to Hua Hin, there's a number of places you can consider stopping off at. I mean, Ratbori province, there's some wonderful spots here. Nakhon Batom, amazing, amazing place. I'll show you that soon. And Pepori province, which is the home of my wife's family is another remarkable place. Anyway, if you did like this quick video in Bang Bong, then please, please consider liking. Please comment down below if you feel so inclined. I don't really like to interact with everybody. And obviously, subscribe if you feel so inclined. I'll catch you on the next oh. one. Oh, we'll just have a quick look down the river here. Better put the mask on, there's people down here. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit of a hang-off spot. You can see how, how high the river is, but this looks like a bit of a hangout spot for local people, but lovely little peaceful area, yeah? And there we go, always the red Fanta. Any Thai people watching this, if you know why it's always red Fanta, and not green or orange please comment down below sometimes you just get stuck on the railway tracks don't you let's go to the wrong side of the track some okay onward to the next spot if i don't include it it won't be it'll be in a different video but i think we're going to go now to um perhaps snake mountain perhaps even the Grand Canyon of Ratchaburi. You want to join me, not just this video, but for the next one.